If you think back to the first time you ever had sex, your very first memory of it may be really bad. Or maybe you're an older adult who you never had that time, like you're still a virgin and you worry about that, about the first encounter. Maybe you're a younger person and you're, you want to have sex for the first time and you're, you too are concerned, like, how do I make it special? We actually have a lot of research about when couples come together and have sex for the first time. And not surprising, at least not surprising to me, men usually remember it more fondly than women do. Because for women, it seems like the process was rushed or they weren't in the place they should have been. And so I've got some tips that I think are going to help you make the first encounter as best as it can be. The first of these, and these are based on research, and so the first of these is consent. When both people consent that this is the next step they want, they feel prepared, they want this to happen, they both desire each other, they both have ideas of how they want to love the other, it's ideal for that first encounter. Secondly, we know from research that the better communication between the partners having sex and their own parents, and that wasn't just the ability to talk about sex, but really more intimate things, the better that relationship, usually the better the partner remembers the first time they make love, the better the situation goes. Secondly, it's really important that you understand the relationship structure. Ideally, you want sex to be part of a great friendship between the couple. So in other words, the longer you delay having sex, the more you spend focus and energy on developing the relationship, the better it's going to be. Thirdly, time and location were important. It had to be in a place that was special, private, and really ideal for both people so that it could be remembered well and that it actually felt good during the time. Thirdly, age does matter. We have research. We know that the older the partners, the better. Not old, old, but the more emotionally mature they were. So that ideally would be after the age of 23, 24, when that frontal cortex is fully developed. Next, the gender. What really mattered about this was the gender roles. What roles did you play? Were you locked into being one thing or were you able to take, like, were you able to both be feminine? Were you able to both be masculine during that? Or depict those behaviors when people didn't feel judged for the way they made love. Of course, it only makes sense that they're going to be able to make love more freely give the love, express the love in the way they see the most beneficial to express themselves. I think these things, if you take them into consideration, if you talk to your partner about it, you're going to have a more impressionable, a more long lasting memory of the first time being so special and so good. And after all, that's what lovemaking is there for. It's to express your love to the other person.